Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I am your host in the report of the week. Hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe, and uh, hope you're having a nice day today. You can see I'm here, I'm going with the gray shirt. Uh, we have the Back to the Future picture in the back with its mask on, so we got that. That's actually, it's just a spare one that I haven't broken out yet, and I, I thought I would be ever so cheeky, right? That's how Review Bra is, and I decided to, uh, you know, put it on that for ob obviously hilarious comedic effect, right? You probably can't even breathe right now because you, it's, just, it's just too much. Too much review, bro. Too much. <laughs> I guess we are doing a review today. Uh, you know, this is an exciting one. It's exciting for me personally because right now with everything that's been going on, <clears throat> I actually had I had a French fry and I kind of I don't know I don't know what happened. I guess I didn't swallow all of it. I don't know. I don't know. Well, now everything's good. Maybe I inhaled a fly or something. Who knows? Who knows what that was? But anyway, uh, obviously with everything that's going on, you've got. Well, you don't have a lot of new items on the menus. You just don't. You just don't have a lot of new releases. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of the fast food places are kind of limiting their menus. Uh, you know, McDonald's, actually, their menu has gotten a lot smaller in, in recent times. And other places do as well. They have limited hours, limited menus. Obviously, the focus for so many places in their business model, etc. Keep their head above water. Save the new releases for later. This isn't exactly a new release, I would say, but it is something new. It is something that has been brought back to the menu, and it's an item that I've always liked, something that I've always looked forward to, and um, I'm glad it's back. I've tried it out before, okay? So number one, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like, I've never had this before, guys. Uh, it's going in. I don't know what's gonna happen. These are un uh, uncharted territories. You know, whatever you want to say. No, I've had this, I think I've reviewed it at least twice before. So instead of this being like some sort of experimental, um, you know, and experience, right? I've already had this. I am going to see, are they maintaining the standards? We're going to find out. All right. Obviously, the video has a title. You know where, the, you know where this is going. I don't even have a bag, so where is it? Where, did, did, are you hiding it behind your ear, review bra? Absolutely. So, so take a look at this, okay? Just, just, just watch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I got the, uh, I got these spicy nuggets from Burger King. Uh, they are, they are back. They have returned. They came out in 2018, at least. Uh, 2017, 2018. I bet they were back in 2019. They are here in 2020. They just released or re-released them. They, they kind of, you know, they, they tease you. They bring them out. They put them on the menu. Then they take them away. And now they're back again. I've always been a fan of their spicy nuggets. To tell you the truth, I like all spicy nuggets. Well, as long as they taste good for the most part. Because there's something just... The simplicity of them, I like. They're very straightforward. It's very to the point. But if they're good, they make for a good snack. And they might be saying, wow, so, um, I mean, how many of these nuggets are you getting? Review, bro. Did you get the, are you, are you gonna, are you gonna bulk up and get the hundred piece, you know? What are you, what are you doing? No, I got a ten piece. But I, I had it delivered today. I went and I used, um, their delivery. Because so many places are, you know, now they're using just takeout, delivery only, etc. So I got them delivered, um, and this is the bag that they, they used to uh, bring it out. But I also did get a little bit of a snack, you know, I got a Whopper and some fries and a drink, which, um, I don't know, maybe that's what kind of, I don't, I don't know. Maybe the fry was just trying to bite back, who's to say? Because the fries weren't the best, but the Whopper that I did have was good. I had a couple bites while I was setting everything else up, and it was good. It was one of the better Whoppers that I had, but anyway. Your way, your place, Burger King. And, um, BK Delivers. Okay, BK Delivers, right there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you, would, you wouldn't believe it. I was, I was kind of looking out, and I saw the delivery guy. Could, he was actually on the delivery moped there showing up. And, no, I, I joke. There was no delivery moped, but the delivery driver was great. Everything worked out good. Here we go. Here's the nuggets. 
and dipping sauce. It's a good deal, to tell you the truth. They're white meat chicken nuggets. Um, of course, you'll, you'll see they have little, um, you know, they're breaded, have their spicy little seasoning, whatever you want to call it, and get a dipping sauce, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. You could, you know, pour it in your hair and kind of comb it, you know, comb it in real good. Or you could dip the chicken in it, which is what it's supposed to be used for, you know. And um, price-wise, though, it's a good deal. That's the other thing. These spicy nuggets, they are a good deal. Uh, you can get an eight-piece of them for, I, I believe, and I've, I've seen that it's different from state to state. But you can get, like, an eight-piece for, like, a dollar twenty-nine, a ten-piece for a dollar forty-nine, and a twenty-piece for three bucks. Three bucks for twenty nuggets? Look, that's a, that's a good deal. No way around it. All right, here is the little box, right? Full of, full of flavor, 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 Burger King R, right? There you have it. Uh, you know, they actually have, and, and this is actually, it's a cool feature. It's one of those things that's still kind of being, you know, beta tested, so it's not everywhere. Um, but of course, sometimes you have issues with people They want to, you know, you might have some nosy friends or whatever. Someone's trying to take your nuggets, right? And you just you want them all for yourself. You're hungry, whatever. So they actually make these password protected now. And again, it's new technology, so it's, you know, it, it doesn't open all the way unless you kind of say the password. And it's just the newest AI technology out there, you know. It, it is 2020, after all. Uh, so you just have to read out the password that's on the box if you want to access the, uh, access the goods, all right? So, you know, there's the password, and you can see it's really long, but that's just because they have so many that get ordered from one day to another, right? So they just kind of start running out of characters. All right, the box is password protected. Try hello yo u ta tas x o few means. So there you go. All right, I think we nailed that. And uh, let's see, does, does it? Does it open? Well, sort of. <laughs> yeah, forget that one. We have nine nuggets now. And we have nine. <laughs> that one just leapt out of the box and uh, onto the floor, so we're going to have to forget about that one. <laughs> I don't even know if you saw that one. But there they are, nine of them now. You can kind of see them. They're crispy, they're seasoned. And there it is, real close up. Yeah, there you have it. Spicy nuggets from Burger King. Very straightforward. Let's see how it tastes. It's going in. I gotta get the one that fell on the floor. Yeah, you can see what it looks like, though. There it is. I'd say that they're still maintaining the standards with them. Very straightforward. You know, it's your standard white meat chicken nuggets. I always like that the nuggets themselves are juicy, um, still very flavorful. You can still just taste that good, you know, just the white meat chicken that's in there. Good amount of it. Um, I do like that there is, I wouldn't say that they're crunchy, but certainly sometimes the um, breading does offer a little bit of a, a crisp to it. I would say the spice is largely black pepper based, so um, that really does stand out to you. And you get that spice in every bite, even lingers a little bit. Not that it's overbearing or overpowering or anything, but I would say that it is on the, you know, for spicy nuggets. It's not like you're sitting there and you're, you're you know, you're scouring, where's the spice? Where's the spice? 
it, it's not like that. It's like, well, yeah, yeah, I could definitely taste it. There's a little bit of spiciness to it. So, um, yeah, I would say these are just as good as they have been. Very, um, very affordable, too. Again, 20 of them for three bucks. <laughs> Count me in. Okay. Buffalo sauce. We are adventurous today. We're going to go all out. So we're going to even kick it up a notch, as they say. <clears throat> all right. Going in with the buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. The buffalo sauce is a good accompaniment. I would say if like, if you, again, you just want to bring it up to that next level in terms of the spice, and you're like, yeah, I like the black pepper seasoning that's on it, but I just want it to be a little spicier. The buffalo sauce really just gets in there. Uh, it's not as lingering spice-wise as the black pepper seasoning. Uh, it's just very creamy, but it, it definitely does just give it a little bit more of a kick than it originally has. So... I'd say the buffalo sauce is a decent accompaniment um, if, if you want to go that route, you know. Otherwise, probably more like a, um, I don't know, like a cool ranch or something, or it'd probably work also. I could only pick out one sauce with that for delivery, so that's just the one that I, that I went with. But overall, I think Burger King is still maintaining the standards. Um, I enjoy these nuggets. I think that they're pretty good for what they are. Um, good value, good price. And uh, again, the sauce goes well with them, but they hold up. They are good on their own, and I think that's the sign of a decent item. When it's good without the need for any sort of sauce, that it's like, otherwise, oh yeah, these things are terrible, and the, the only saving grace, right, is, is the sauce, uh, then that's one thing. But no, they're still good even without any, any sauce of any sort. Um, I think they still hold up. So with that, out of 10, uh, I'm going to give it, uh, I would say an 8.1 out of 10. They're pretty good for what they are. You know, not perfect, just quality-wise. Um, but, you know, for what it is, again, you can get just 20 for 3 bucks. Um, I think it's just a good, inexpensive snack. And that gives a little bit of a, a spice to your life, right? Or whatever you want to say for some sort of marketing gimmick, right? Spicy Nuggets from Burger King. And with that, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and do take care. I'll see you in a little bit.